Warning, I talk a lot during this video, so if you do not like hearing people just talk on and on and on, don't watch this video. Here's my brother, watching something. So, I'm not gonna put up like a full vlog today. You, you just, I guess, you are me. Up a full vlog I don't know. She's just sleeping. But, give me a minute. Yes. Oh. He's it's me! Hey, okay. It's a man! No! Stop, dude. I got sea monkeys. Can you see them? See the things are swimming around? They're so cool. So, I know that I'm kind of um, old. Oops, that was loud. For like a children's museum. And I know that, but it, it's still fun. You can just imagine like all the fun memories that you had when you were actually small enough to be able to do most of the things and all the fun that it, it really still is, even though you're kind of older and stuff. I am getting ready to play GTA 5 with my friend. You won't be able to hear that because I can't record and be on a phone call at the same time. They should make people be able to do that because that'd be really awesome. But, can I turn this on with my foot? No. Okay, um, but that's, we just hit the, you know, like, Christmas party, it's January 3rd, and I'm so jealous, because one of the vlogs, the people that I watch, which is J House, J House Vlogs, I'm, I'm so jealous, they're going to freaking, freaking, freaking Disneyland in, in California, and about two or three hours ago, they updated their story on Instagram, saying that they finally landed, and I'm just, like, so jealous, like, I want to be homeschooled, I want to go to Disneyland, but... <sighs> Some people get that leisure, but I mean, I mean, the only downside that I really, really see to myself in that is just the fact that, um, they're kind of young. And the only reason I say that's down, I mean, going to places like that is kind of, it's just amazing. But in my eyes, you really, it only seems like a day when you're really that young, and then you're like my age, you're 15, and you realize that you forget, you forget things about when you were nine and stuff. And so, Really what I have to say is that, I mean, I'm happy for them, I'm very happy, but it made me think that, you know, it would be really cool to go like that when they're young, like that age, because the oldest is only nine, and that's pretty awesome for them, because, you know, they're nine, they're one, they're just a year younger than my brother, but, um, what I find is that they aren't going to remember a lot of that trip. I mean, they're gonna remember going and everything, but it's all just gonna fade away with the memories of you, of them becoming older and more, and stuff that they, school things that is completely appropriate for you to learn. And 95% of it you won't use until you're an adult. Like, school overcrowds all the work. Like, you're gonna go over it again in, in college. Why, why do you want to cram our heads with, with all this work? I mean, if you really want us to do well, stop forcing a bunch of random standardized stand, standardized tests. Stop forcing people to have to do all of this homework. I mean, I'm pretty sure that um, you. My parents have said that you don't. We don't. They didn't get half as much homework. They seem to think that if we do our homework, we'll get it. Like it does something. Homework won't do anything because ninety five. Percent of the people I don't think do it. There's just like that small five percent that actually wants to do their homework and get good. I'm like that ninety five percent that doesn't do my homework. I mean, I'll do it, but I'll do it in a way that's like it's not like quick. I'll get uh, most of the answers right, but it'll be in a way that I just don't want to do it. And it's actually taking a lot longer. It's already been 
four minutes and twenty two seconds. Yeah, I just, I just, I ramble. I, do, I don't know why. I, I just sit here and, and ramble, and I find that's a problem because I like to talk about my feelings. And so eventually, I'm gonna start this new segment on the channel, and it's gonna be just a thought, which is gonna be like little videos I'll post, like maybe on like a Tuesday or something. Yes, but this is gonna be the first part of the vlog, and then the second part is just gonna be a cute little slideshow and maybe little recordings of my pets. And when I say second part, I mean that part is gonna be the Friday portion. I didn't record today because I was a family, and I really didn't honestly think they'd want to be on camera. They're they're older, sixties and stuff, and I really don't want to put them on the internet. I mean, I, I, it's mainly I, when I started Gina vlogs, I wanted to do more stuff. Like I, I'm not trying to sound like selfish or like pessimistic. I think that's the word. Like, well, self centered. That, that's self centered. I didn't want to be um self self centered. I want. But I also want people to see what it's really like to be a teenager because I don't think a lot of adults understand. They, when you're an adult, you're usually getting into a good routine and they and they know how things should be done and they think that students will be able to do it. They think that we are capable of doing a lot of things when in reality we aren't. And even for me, that's really, really hard to say. But it's the truth. Adults need to calm the frick down. <laughs> Like, adults in the school board need to stop being so, um, sorry if you're like a school board teacher and school board person and you're not this, but stop being so idiotic and, and selfish. Sorry, I was trying to see something. Like, um, stop thinking that sports is more important than marching band. I'm sorry, still going back to marching band. Because that's what it is. They don't think that music and everything is as important as sports. So they decide a lot of places have cut music because they think that sports is, is better. And they don't even bother to tell anyone. They don't even bother to ask people for a vote. They just say, okay, we're just gonna throw music out the window and that's gonna be it. And that's very, very stupid. As a matter of fact, that's very selfish. It's very inconsiderate. That's very, very self-centered. And adults think that they know what they're doing and pretty much they also don't either. They only want to do what they want to do, and they want to do it in a way that's convenient for them, but not convenient for everybody else. And again, I'm sorry if this isn't you, and you're a very, very <laughs> considerate person. So good job to you. But there are a lot of adults out there who are very, very, very inconsiderate. And they just want to do things that gets them a lot of money that's... Like, take my mom's manager, for example. He put my mom on Christmas Eve and made her work very, very late. And, of course, he gets every Christmas, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day off. He just thinks, okay, I want it off. I'm going to put it off. I'm going to take it off. I'm going to take the whole time off because I want to be with my family. But I'm just going to put her on even though she wants to be with hers. That's very self-centered and inconsiderate. We don't care that you're a manager. You should be able to have to work one of those days, too. Not just don't do it because you don't want to work it. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm just continuing to ramble, and it's already been 7 minutes and 51 seconds anyway. So, my friend's gonna be online in about a couple minutes or so, and we're gonna play GTA 5. I know that I'm two years younger than the recommended age, but I don't even pay attention to all the horrible crude things that are in that. I don't, I don't do that. Um, I'm a person that likes to... Oh my gosh. Ugh. I am a person that just likes to drive around. That's basically the only reason I got to drive around and maybe do some heists and maybe if people get on my nerves, shoot them. That's not... Shooting people is a horrible thing, children. Don't, don't do that. Okay, well, I'm done giving you my personal opinion on some important things that matter to me. And now, you should go subscribe to JLS because they are amazing. I don't think I'll be able to leave a link because I don't know how to do that on my phone. I have to work on getting stuff set up so that I can edit on the computer and edit in a better video quality. Um, and, and do that. Hope I'm not, like, it doesn't look like I have a third chin. It'll suck. Because if I do, then yeah. Okay, well I'm gonna get on because pretty soon it's gonna be late and I have school in two days. I'm still on break. Like, when you get this up on Wednesday, that'll be my last day of break. And then Thursday and Friday I have school, and then it's back to school. So, 
I really don't want to go back to school. Like, I do, but at the same time, I don't. I like having, I like being free. I like, I like the past week was my favorite because I got to spend the week at my dad's with my siblings. And since that's where I lived for um, 13 and a half years of my life, you, you can, you, you know that it probably, it's, it's hard to only get there, to, get to be there like two and a half days out of a week. And so the fact that my dad got to take the day off and I got to spend a whole week there, it, it made me feel like, like the old times. Like, I mean, growing up, and if your parents divorce while you're growing up and you kind of know what I'm feeling, then you probably, you might have thought at some point, man, I kind of wish we moved into a new house. You know, one that one that's bigger, one that's better than this one, one that's prettier, one that's more spacious. And, but at the back of your mind, you don't want to. You love your house. You don't expect it to happen. And then it does. And then, and then it's horrible. You just imagine, you just keep remembering the way things are now and... You, you really, really miss the times when your parents were married and how you just had one house and it was just so much easier. Um, and it's still very hard. So that's why when I get older and like we want to get out of high school and start going to college, I'm still going to college in the state because I am considering going out of state and living by myself because I want to I wanna experience that. I want to know what it's like to, to be my own person, to make my own rules, to live by myself. But I want to move back in at my dad's because it's not that I don't love this beautiful house, this this beautiful basement, my room, my, my mom, my cats. It's just, I want things to go back to the way they were when my parents were still married. And I accept that my parents aren't in love with each other, but like still love each other as like friends. I, I respect that, but is she on? No, she's not. I'll, I'll text her. Um... I respect it, but at the same time, it's, it's horrible in my heart because it's something... When you're growing up as a child, your parents being married is, like, the best thing. It's, it's something that you have grown accustomed to. Whereas, when they break up and you're old enough to understand what it is, you realize that something you're so familiar with has changed. And ch change is good. Change can be bad sometimes, yes, but change is also really, really good for you. It makes you a better person or it may make you a horrible person. Because you don't know how to handle that change. And there are always people out there to help. Just look, look up counselors and people to talk to. Maybe even talk to like your siblings or your parents. How you feel. Just get those feelings out. Maybe that might be able to help you with your friends. Don't keep things bottled up. and Don't think suicide. Suicide's never the last resort. But. Yeah. So. If. You liked this video remember to like comment share and subscribe i think this is the first time i've like ever said that and i don't want to like pressure people into liking and commenting and subscribing but it'd be really really cool if you subscribe well, not subscribe. it'd be really cool if you subscribe yes but it'd be really really cool if you commented on this video because i want to know what you think i could do to make my video better like should i input like a random dance montage into these videos should i try to do a little bit more things during the day even though i'm a really really shy about recording myself in public um, should I try to do more things like that? Should I try to plan out fun, like, little events? Like, there's so many things I want to do. Like, I want to meet these certain people and, like, hang out with them for, like, a week, but I know it's not going to happen. I'm not going to give any hints. Um, I don't know. I just really want to go see them, meet them so bad, but they live down in Texas. And, no, they're not. I mean, I really want to meet me. I don't know who live in Texas, but there's someone else. They're bloggers. But there, I know there are a lot of bloggers who live in Texas. But they're just, just, they're the four first ever vloggers. I found and I remember that night staying up and watching all their late vlogs and I, I remember just doing a lot of things that night just, just watching them and they inspired me to vlog and then I found other people because of their vlog but yeah so like I said if you like this video like it if you want to stop comment to give me more feedback about what I could do to make my vlogs better and if you really like me that much, subscribe, because believe me, I have some ideas that I want to... Yeah, she's on mine now! Woo! I'm sorry. <laughs> that means I have to go. Um, but I do want to do some things. Things are going to come up. I'm sorry, it's almost 15 minutes, and 95% of it is me talking. I I'm so sorry. I'll put a warning at the beginning of the video, so that way you know if you don't like it, you can just skip it. So, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. And remember, keep being awesome. Always.